This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to News Channel Nebraska. This is Quarantine Tonight, the nightly variety show that airs across the state of Nebraska and some select portions of Iowa, South Dakota, and northern Kansas. I'm your host, Mike Flood, and tonight we've got another great show. The theme is America. It's patriotic. It's celebrating what makes us different than the rest of the world, and we're going to do it in grand style tonight. You're not going to want to miss a moment. All right, so let's take some house business here coming up. We're going to be getting back into our mailbag here pretty quick, and we've got plenty to show you. We've gotten so much mail from across the state, and we've been reading your feedback, and I want you to know we are listening. We've heard from folks in Grand Island that say, hey, we get all these bands from eastern and northeastern Nebraska. We'd like to hear bands from across the state. Tonight, we've got a Scotts Bluff native who has recently moved to eastern Nebraska, but has has legitimate credibility in Scotts Bluff County. You're going to find out more about Justin Kane in just a moment, but we want to know what bands you want to hear. We talked to a Clark's Polka band today, and they are very excited. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that they make the trip. We're talking to folks in Grand Island, but if you know somebody that's in the music business in Kearney, North Platte, McCook, Grant, Ogallala, Sydney, Scotts Bluff, Alliance, Shadron, Crawford, wherever, Broken Bow, let us know about it. Send us a Facebook message at News Channel Nebraska. We are constantly looking for talent to share with the rest of the state. And if we're as lucky as we have been in the Platte and Loop and Elkhorn River basins, finding uh, different acts uh, in Omaha and places like Tecumseh, we're very confident we're going to do very well across the state as we look at those other areas of Nebraska. But we want to hear from you, so we're going to ask you to send us a letter. Let us know exactly what you're interested in so that we can get them scheduled because at, uh, at this point we are looking at continuing quarantine tonight, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks, because we know uh, so many people are enjoying it and uh, <laughs> there's still so much of that coronavirus business out there we feel it's best for everybody just to stay home, relax, enjoy what we do best, and that is entertaining ourselves with the talent of Nebraska. It's time now for our evening prayer on News Channel Nebraska. Hello, my name is Kyle Larson, and I am a pastor at the Sydney Evangelical Free Church in Sydney, Nebraska. And it's an honor and a privilege to, to serve there, and it's an honor and a privilege to, to be here with you and, and open our time in prayer. So let's do that. Almighty God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we, we, we come to you tonight in a mixture of emotions. Uh, we come to you tonight from all over our state. Uh, God, we're thankful for this news channel, Nebraska, that that uh, wanted to open their time tonight in prayer. And so, God, we thank you for that. And, Lord, we are thankful for the gift of prayer, that we can come to you and we, we trust that you really do hear us and that you really do care. And, God, I'm asking that you would comfort those that are scared right now. Hold those that are hurting right now. Help those that are serving right now and god may this be a time where we where we seek your face where we run to you not away from you ah, we thank you we love you we need you in jesus name we pray amen thank you thank you so much pastor larson sydney nebraska that's pretty cool when you can get somebody just a few miles from the colorado and wyoming border uh, to pray on your show tonight. And uh, do we have a show tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce Mr. Justin Kane. Uh, we're going to start out with the important stuff. Husband, father, eight-year uh, U.S. Navy veteran. Uh, you were in Norfolk, Virginia. Now, yes, we won't tell you where we're at now, but it's an undisclosed location that sounds a lot like that, except there's not a Virginia behind it. And then uh, you were in San Diego for a little while, too. Isn't that right? I spent nine years in. And I did the other. Um, most of my time was spent on board a ship. I am a 
So you really got to see a lot. You got to see. <laughs> exactly. I got to see a lot of blue. Lots and lots, lots of blue. Lots and lots of blue. You got but, the uh, scenic I don't trip. regret it at all. I made a lot of great friends and stuff. I did several. I did two tours overseas, and uh, I don't regret any of it. And he's got a, uh, let's see, you've got a 21-year-old. I got a 21-year-old year old stepdaughter, and my son is 22. My goodness. And I told him when I saw him, I said, you age really well. <laughs> You really do. Well, thank uh, you very much. <laughs> yeah. So here's the other neat thing about uh, this guy is that he's got a little radio in his blood. You have been a broadcaster for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, um, working for KNB Radio on a Scott's Bluff. Um, Good they, friends of ours out there. Yeah, they were great to work for. Uh, got along with a lot of the people out there and just talking on the radio every night. And, you know, you don't realize how many people listen in until you when get out of the When you talk to no one... You can talk to everyone. Pretty much. Isn't that how it works? I'm really good at talking to no one. Because people <laughs> yeah. think I'm a little crazy after the a while. The problem is when you talk to no one and no one's really there. But tonight we're celebrating the Armed Forces. And this is a show I've been looking forward to because you specialize in uh, patriotic uh, music and country music. And tonight we're going to hear plenty of it. But you've got every service flag here except the U.S. Coast Guard because you can't find a U.S. Coast Guard flag. Yeah, I went out and tried to buy one and... It kept saying they're all, all out, all out. And one of the ones I did order, they wrote back and said, we are sold out of the Coast Guard flags. And I was kind of disappointed. But a friend of mine who was a 20-year Navy veteran, he gave me a Some Gave All, which has a service cross on it. That's standing for the Coast Guardsman. My, my uh, step-granddad was a Coast Guardsman as well. So it's not something that I want to forget about. It's just unfortunately You can't not literally there. buy the flag. I can't, but I'm sure they probably got them out now, but um, they you just... You gotta rejoin. You gotta rejoin yes, the Coast Guard. To, you gotta leave the Navy I and go to I the Coast Guard. And you go, Guard. it's like, you know what, maybe I'll join just so I can get a flag for a little bit, but <laughs> I don't think they'll take me. I'm too broken down anymore. Well, the big thing we're talking about tonight, you've got a lot of talent in music. You've been doing this. You've been in Nashville. You've recorded songs. Tonight, not only are you gonna do some patriotic songs, you're gonna do some of your own work. Uh, we're looking forward to it. How did you get into music? Um, it started off in high school. Um, choir teacher in Mitchell, Nebraska, uh, found me singing in an auditorium, asked me why I wasn't in her choir, Miss Jones. And then Mr. Roney, who's now teacher of Scott's Bluff, brought me on and got me into musicals and other choir, and it just kind of gone from there. And um, when I got to my second deployment, a friend of mine kind of got me on a guitar and started playing and singing. You got a little extra time on the ship to play guitar, oh, don't you? Oh, got a lot of time on the ship. <laughs> Especially when you're gone for seven months, it, you're just... You got just, lots of time. You and the guys, yeah. Oh, yeah, just us and playing around, and there'd be like five or six of us in the hangar bay playing for all the guys who were working hard and just killing what time we had off to, to play a little music. Well, let's get to it. Tonight, we've got it all right here. This is Justin Kane. It's J-U-S-T-I-N-K-A-N-E. If you're looking for him on Facebook, that's where we're going to start. Yes, uh, Justin Kane Music, LLC. Uh, you got to look for me on Facebook there, but I'm also on Twitter, Snapchat, and you're all business. Pretty much on look Facebook. for my name; you'll find it somewhere. All right, let's do this. Justin Kane on News Channel Nebraska. Here's a little Aaron Tippin song for you called "Where the Stars and Stripes and the Eagles Fly." And if you're at home, which I know a lot of you are, feel free to stand up in your chairs and put your hands together. If you ask me where I come from, here's what I tell everyone. I was raised with God's dear grace in a next to old and eerie place where the stars and stripes and the eagle fly. It's a big old land with countless dreams. Happiness ain't out of reach. Our world face out the way it should. Yeah, I've seen enough to know we got it good. With the stars and stripes in the eagle fly. That bothers you, well, that's too bad. 
But if you got pride and you're proud to do, we can use some more like me and you. With the stars and the stripes and the eagle fly. We're at home and proud to be America. Just give me a God bless America out there. I'm sure someone in your neighborhood here would hear you. Let us know you're proud to be in this great country of ours. But it's the only place that I prefer To love my wife and raise my kids Hey, just the way my daddy did With the stars and stripes And the eagle fly Where the stars and stripes out there everybody I know I'm definitely proud to be I serve my country my family's been here a long time and we'll get into that a little bit later but speaking of family I really like this song that I got to record down in Nashville um, written by a, a talented and very talented songwriter um, great guy overall but Mr. Eric Durant's out there in, in Florida and uh, he's with a, a band called the Tobacco Road Band but he wrote this song and it just made me think of what it was like when I was a kid growing up and what it's like me teaching my kids the same things that my grandparents or my dad taught me. And I remember there was those things that just kind of helped me out through life. Like when we have downfalls, you got to have that one memory that kind of brings you up and cheers you up a little bit. Or even multiple memories that will just kind of cheer you up. And that's why I really like the fact that when you can go back and just remember things. Like I can remember going snow sledding down the hills in New York with my family up there or going fishing by a pond in Ansley, Nebraska with my cousins and my grandparents out there as well, or even going up to South Dakota for family reunions. But all those things just bring you that little bit of happy. And that's when you can sit back and say, hey, heaven really ain't that far away. ain't that far away It's Grandpa in a rocking chair Talking about the good old days Smell the sun to supper on the store And that homemade apple pie Like only my grandma can be It's a Joe Stress on the radio Five old Johnson and old John Bowe Sweet tea in my hand On a back porch right at night It's a little house on a quiet street It's the sound of my kid laughing With her mama by my side It's a Joe Strait song on the radio Five horse Johnson and an old Jumbo A father and a camp pool A granny I gotta buy So they run them down the dirt Seven out the window, her smiling up at me, saying, Daddy, can I drive? Kiss on the cheek, good night, good morning, sunshine. For my side, that is hard to see. Heaven ain't that far away. Grandma and Grandpa, pass away. Every time I put those flowers on the green, 
rolling down a dirt road and something out the window. Lord knows I'm going there if there will take me back. Every time I'm in that place, I relive all those days. Oh, beside that, it's hard to say. Thank you very much, everybody, and thank you to everybody at home listening and watching on their phones and their computers and everything else. That is an original tune, one of the ones I had the privilege of write, uh, recording down in Nashville when I was with down there. But it is a patriotic tune, and, you know, I do more than just sing to a track, so I'm going to grab my guitar real quick. And, you know, one of those things about memories and stuff, I remember this guitar because uh, I actually have my other one here, the older that the neck got broke, but I use this one. But my daughter helped me name my guitars, and this one's called Lucky Lulu 2. The original was Lucky Lulu 1, but she broke, so I don't know how lucky she actually really was. But it's still a fun, fun name for the guitar, and she's just pretty anyway. But I like this song from Zach Brown Band. It's one of their first big hits that he had that really kind of helped get him famous. But the biggest reason why I like this song is in that third verse, it just kind of really pays tribute to what these flags behind me stand for. Every man and woman who have fought and died for our country, it's always a good time to remember them and salute them. And as long as I can keep doing music, that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you like this one. It's called Chicken Fry. You know, I love my chicken fry. Don't be on a Friday night. Pair of jeans a bit just right. Ain't no ready to go. Funny how it's the little things in life that mean the most. Not where you live, what you drive, all the price tags on your clothes. No dollar sign on a piece of mind, this I've come to know. So if you agree, have a drink with me, raise the glasses for a toast. Do a little bit of chicken ride. Cold beer on a Friday night, pair of jeans fit just right. Ain't ready on your world, I see the sun. Do a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. Their jeans are fit just right. In a radio world, I see the sunrise. Feel the love in my woman's eyes. Feel the touch of a precious child. No mother's love. Ain't Just right. 
You gotta like the Zach Brown band. They're just a good group of guys. So this next song that I like to do, uh, just can't go help go wrong with a Merle Haggard tune. And this one just kind of reminds me of every parent that's out there to try to do the best things for their kids. And you know, there's not a song called Papa Tried, but you know, I love my kids. But sometimes you just want to, as my dad did it with me, smack them upside the head every once in a while. There's probably a reason why the big back of my head's there because I got smacked a lot. <laughs> But, you know, that's what happens when you don't follow the rules, I guess. But anyway, I like this song from, uh, now I'm drawing a blank now, but it's Mama Tried, so we'll get it figured out eventually. First thing I remember knowing was a lonesome whistle blowing and a youngin's dream to grow. train leaving town not knowing where I'm bound no one could change my mind but mama tried what a little old terrible child from a family making my own my mama seemed to know what laid in store despite all my Sunday learning door to bed I kept on turning till mama could It was on the top of your mind. You knew it was Merle Haggard. Yeah, I, I just, just you know, I've had those too many too. things to focus on. All the pretty lights. Yeah, my two kids. I'm like a, uh, the fish at the bottom <laughs> of the sea when those fluorescent fish fly around. You're like, whoa! Don't you pretty. like it when you get done with a song and three people clap? <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, you know, I've had them where they're all just staring at you. And like, oh, okay, Justin I'll do the King, next song. <laughs> you are putting on a show tonight, and it is so nice to have some country music. I got a letter today from Elgin, and they said we'd like a little bit more country, like. Jim Casey and the smoke. You don't know. I don't know if you I know these know guys. You do the. Okay. Casey, yeah. They're coming back Friday night. We oh, need, nice. We need a permit from the police chief to get them in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that crazy, huh? All right. We're going to be fingerprinting people at the door uh, just to match them up to the FBI prints. But <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I'm We've got more here, Justin William. Kane music coming up here. We're going to tell you all about him. But first, we have to do Mike's mailbag here on News Channel Nebraska. We're going to check the mail. We got a bunch of mail this week. And I wanted to tell you, if you send us a letter, we won't publish it unless you want us to. So if you don't want it to be on the TV, just say, please don't put this on TV. But let's go ahead and show you our uh, mail that we got today. You can send us that to us. Uh, we got a ton of it. And so I'm just going to show you some of the things that we're hearing from people all over the state. This is from Gothenburg. Eddie and Reggie just want to say or express our appreciation for the quarantine show. So nice to see what great talent there is and how wonderful that they share it. We agree. We especially enjoyed the show last night. This is from the Leo Lani Orchestra. They put on a big band tune. Thanks to you, your boys, and anyone else who makes this show happen. Know it's a lot of extra work. We appreciate the prayer to open the show. 
This virus has made us realize how very spoiled we are in America. What a great night to read that letter. Here's from Alice. I think it's Alice in Creighton. What a terrific idea. Love seeing the Nebraska talent that we have. Love the polka bands. Grew up with the music. My dad played a button accordion. We've heard that a few times. Thank you for what you're doing to help keep Nebraska strong. Thank you, Alice, for that kind note. Out to Stanton. There are quite a number of your listeners that are enjoying the music every night at 8. Of course, that's 8 Central. Last evening, the gang from Ponca were great. And the Polka Band on Friday night. Just so you know, next week, those boys from Ponca, they're coming back. They call themselves uh, the Prodigal Sons. They're going to be back. We haven't missed any of them, these folks at nursing homes and also the meadows that swing around the floor. Good exercise. Thank you very much from Stanton. And then Betty from St. Paul. She says, I'm Polka. Or I'm Polish. So the Polka specials are my favorites. My second favorite, Lynn Dvorak. He was outstanding. His music and his voice, so special. I'm jealous of his friend in Poland. So just so you guys know that maybe weren't watching, Lynn Dvorak has a girlfriend in Poland. I should say, his girlfriend lives in Poland. The way I said that sounds like he's got one in every country, but maybe he does. We don't know about that Lynn Dvorak. He's a great guy. Keep up your uh, good work. Your special is a blessing. May God protect us all. So thank you so much. If you want to send us a letter, please do. 214 North 7th Street in Norfolk, Nebraska. We'll put that address up for you here. It really helps us with this show to know what you want to hear. For instance, they said more country. Voila, look who appears. Justin Kane, just out of thin air, drops from the sky. We have him tonight. We're going to have more of this, but we'd encourage you to send us a letter. 214 North 7th Street, Sweet One, or just 214 North 7th Street, Norfolk. We will get it, and we will read it, and we will follow the rules. We'll be right back after this look at news on News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. We've got Justin Kane, grew up, lived a long time in Scotts Bluff. He now has made his way into Oakland, Nebraska, living the good life right there on the edge of Oakland. And uh, the people in Cumming County, right? Cumming? Actually, Burt County in Oakland. Oh. Cumming is right next to them. Like, it's You're, really close. West Point is Cumming County, but Burt County. You can County. probably throw a rock into Cumming County, can't you? Can, you? Pretty much, yeah. You can't go much further from Scotts Bluff County to Burt County. Yeah, it I think we're on the complete polar opposite sides of the state because <laughs> from Scottsville to Wyoming is like 30 some miles and from Oakland to Iowa is like about the same amount. So. And it's about the same on humidity, isn't it? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lucky I have a station in Virginia, so I know what humidity is yeah, like. Yeah, this isn't yeah. as bad. You Scots Bluff folks get there east of Kearney, and you're like, what is going yeah, on Yeah, like I'm here? sweating stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I get it. You know, it is bad, but I have lived through worse. So. I bet you have. Well, let's get to it. He's here to sing. He's doing a great job. Justin Kane on Quarantine Tonight for News Channel Nebraska. Well, I'm appreciating everybody tuning in out there. We've uh, apparently some people from Oklahoma, North Carolina, all throughout Nebraska as well. Well, and I believe some of my family up in New York are tuning in. So um, hi to everybody out there. Thanks for tuning in News Channel Nebraska tonight for quarantine tonight. It is truly been an honor. And, you know, it's kind of with everybody tuning in, it just kind of really makes you proud to be part of this country. But, you know, like people like in Oklahoma, you know, we got Blake Shelton wrote a really great tune. And I love it because it speaks to the country nature of my heart um, growing up in western Nebraska and dealing with tornadoes and the large hail and the wind and everything else like that. Just really appreciate what life really has to offer. And I really like this one, and I hope you do too. It's called God's Country. And if you know it, sing along with that at home with me. Outside of this one church town is a golden road to a whole lot of nothing. Got a deed to the land, but it ain't my ground. This is God's country. We pray for rain and thank Him when it's falling, cause every brains a grain and a little bit of money. We pull it back in a plane. Yes, that's why they call it God's country. I saw the light in a sorry sitting back in a folly on a muddy riverside getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running Say by the sound of a beer-found Dixie whistle in the wind and get your heaven bound the devil went down 
out of Georgia, but he dared to stick around. This is God's country. We turn the dirt and work until our week's done. We take a break and break bread on Sunday, then we do it all again. We're proud to be from God's country. I saw the light in the sunrise sitting back in a funny on a muddy riverside getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. Saved by the sound of a beer found Dixie whistled in the wind that'll get you heaven bound. The devil went down to Jordan, but he didn't stick around. This is God's country. Put those hands together at home if you love God's country. I don't care what my headstone reads or what kind of pine wood balls I end up in. When it's my time, maybe six feet deep in God's country. I saw the light in the sun. Amen for God's country here in eastern Nebraska now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody at home. You know, I, I see some of my friends tuning in from out there near Hemingford, Nebraska, and also out there near Des Moines, Iowa. Some uh, Navy guys, a Marine Corps veteran as well, and some other people I know out there. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's tuning in tonight. Not to mention thanks to the News Channel Nebraska for doing stuff like this. In our world of hurt, we're always looking for something to maybe make our lives a little better. And doing something like this, which I'm truly honored to be here and be a part of, just really makes our days go better. You know, back in the 90s, there was a great team of Nebraska Cornhuskers and a good old number 18. He was such a good soul, and we lost him way too soon. And I really like this song from Sawyer Brown, not only because what it means for Brooke Berenger and when we lost him, but also right now with the virus going on and there's no sports whatsoever and all those hopes and dreams that are lingering in the balance waiting to find out what is going to happen. So I'm dedicating this one to everybody that's out there that plays a sport and has that dream. This one's called the Nebraska Song from Sawyer Brown. Something calling me like I never heard before. It 
Thank you very much. Apparently, I got to look for my surroundings when I go to move a guitar and hit a mic. But hey, you know, we'll have fun with it anyway. This next song was a song I got to go down and record for the very first time in Nashville. And it was a truly a great honor. And I got to compete in a competition called the Galaxy of Stars Talent Search. And my manager now is the one that kind of runs all of that. And... I had the opportunity to win a recording session with Denny Martin down in Nashville, Tennessee, and this was one of the songs presented to me as one to record, and with my family lineage going back past the Revolutionary War, my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather Huntington, Samuel B. Huntington, is a signer on the Declaration of Independence. So my family's been here a long time, and our nation was founded on basically one principle. We should be able to maintain and manage our own rights and have our own freedoms. And we should love one another. No matter what our political backgrounds are, we should always come together and be strong. Because when we are strong, that's when everybody has come together for one common goal. The Revolutionary War is a prime example of that, where people were tired of being pushed down by a bully and a tyrant, and they stood up and fought against them. They stood up what they thought was right and what was wrong. And time and time again throughout American history, we see how people come together. 9-11, I remember that day very vividly. The very next day, I remember even more. So I went out and I saw American flags flying everywhere on cars, churches, buildings, front porches. People had them, started getting tattoos, American flags everywhere. And then recently, with the COVID-19 outbreak, you start to see a lot more people and a lot more love coming together as well. So I really like this song because it really tells one thing that no matter what, if we can all come together, we will always be American strong. <laughs> American 
It's called America Strong, and you can find that online as well. Wow, Justin Kane, I, I lost my breath watching you sing that song. My face got a little red at the end my of that one. My goodness, you've got some, you are not going to be hurt by COVID-19. Your lung capacity is unbelievable. Yeah, my wife always says I have 10-gallon lungs because when she sleeps in the same bed, it feels like a hurricane's hitting her face. <laughs> That's just not my nose. So feel sorry for my wife. So we had this we had this band from Fremont here with a bunch of these young guys that were doing polka. They call themselves the happy players. And I was giving one of them a hard time saying, hey, you're looking for a girlfriend. And his pitch to the ladies was, I've got great lung capacity. Of course, he was playing the tuba. And I thought, well, you know what? If you're going to promote something during a time of the virus, that's probably something good. That's always a good thing. Make sure you have longevity. In your you life. know what I appreciate about the patriotic music tonight? And I, you know, you start thinking about it. You were in the Navy for nine years. Nine years, yes. And you spent a lot of time out to sea and all over the the oceans, all over the world, yes, probably. pretty much. Places right. you don't even remember you were, probably, or knew you were. Well, I knew times. I was there. Some places I don't remember so well, <laughs> but that's typical young man in the Navy life. But there's a lot of things I do remember, and just the countries over there and right. the gratefulness right. that they were glad that we were there. So... Well, and, you know, especially now with this whole coronavirus business, you worry because there are countries out there that, like Iran, there are countries out there, in my opinion, like China, they aren't going to bed every night praying for our future. And no. you've got the men and women of the United States Armed Forces that doesn't matter what party you're in, doesn't matter who you voted for, they're out there doing a job in a lonely sea on a ship somewhere or at a base uh, far from home protecting our interests. And tonight, what you're doing is really saying thank you to people out there doing that job. I would not be here today if it wasn't for them, literally. That's right. That's right. So we appreciate this uh, Justin Kane fellow who's doing a great job from Scott's Bluff. He's living in Oakland, Nebraska now. And uh, we're going to hear more from him. In fact, the next set, just tell everybody all the songs in the next set because I, I think our viewers are really going to like this. You're really, you're driving the bus over the country cliff, and that's good because we, oh, yeah. we're gonna we go. need some country. We're going to get country. Driving we my got life a little away. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. We got a little uh, John Denver. Oh, gosh, yeah. We got some Eddie Rabbit. I love it. Driving my life away. And I'm going to switch it up to a little Christian pop with uh, Mercy Me song. Okay. And then we got one of my originals, uh, Match I Want to Light. You just... You're going to hit it out of the We're park all over with that the place. set. And you, you had everybody in our audience when you said Johnny Cash because that's that's what they signed up for. Uh, that's what their letters I'm say. I'm Jason King. I'm, I'm Jason <laughs> King, yeah. I'm Johnny Cash. Hey, uh, i got to tell you about something we're going to try on Monday. This could be a colossal train wreck. It could be something that is the best live television you've ever seen, or it could be something that we never do again. But we have gone out, and we have been working on this company 
uh, I'm literally talking about for two months because when the whole coronavirus thing was starting, somebody at News Channel said, hey, we should do bingo. And I was like, okay, that's a cool idea. And that's, that's really where quarantine ideas uh, tonight started. I was like, well, we'll play bingo. But you can't really play bingo with nobody in the room with the bingo machine. So we have Ooh. gone out and developed this program, literally working with this commuter mastermind, uh, that lets us play bingo virtually. So on Monday night at 7.30 on News Channel Nebraska, we are going to invite viewers to log on to a special website where they will get their own bingo card. And then we will, at our special undisclosed location, the balls will be bouncing around and we will pick the bingo between nine, uh, 1 and 75, B-I-N-G-O. And the free space is already reserved for UNMC. And uh, if you get bingo, you're going to win something. And I'm just... I'm, I'm going to tell you this. We are going to try it Monday. If it's an absolute train wreck, we will not speak of it again. I think it's going to be fun. If it works, this could be magic on your television for all those bingo players that are missing it. Now, Brendan, my oldest, come here, Brendan. I got to show you the prize. Make sure you take off your headset there. I got to show you the prize. We were talking at dinner tonight about how Blake was always on TV, and Brendan does not. But I convinced him to model the prize this who does not want to win this t-shirt do you see it i don't know if anybody can zoom in on it but it says quarantine bingo we ordered the t-shirts before we had a plan to pay bingo so brendan you look pretty good in that t-shirt oh look justin's actually going to adjust your camera there it's, what a he's full service do you like this shirt brendan um yeah it's pretty good okay and Brent, brendan's got his braces on have they been tightening those braces on you not for like Two months. You missed that? No. You're going to be in braces till you're 35 at the rate we're going with quarantine. <laughs> Brent, thank you, Brendan. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Justin, for showing that. Okay, so uh, here's, here's the deal. Monday night, we're going to play bingo. We're going to give it a whirl. You're going to want to start watching sooner because we're going to play our NCN tube videos, and then we're going to do our top five from Fairbury, and then we're going to play bingo. It's going to be... It's going to be must see TV. I don't know if it's something we'll ever repeat, but we're going to give it a. We're going to tell the passengers to fasten their seatbelts and we're going to prepare for what could be a very hard landing. But it's going to be fun and you could win a t shirt like that. We'll be right back. You're going to love what Justin does next. This is some of the best country coming up and it starts with Johnny Cash. It's right here on News Channel Nebraska. Just can't say enough about our sponsors, especially University of Nebraska Medical Center. Talk about a group of dedicated professionals. Not only are they researching, they're helping advise all the public officials, they're caring for patients. And uh, the most important part to me is every single day they wake up and they're trying to figure out how do we make this better, not just for Nebraskans, but for everyone. So we want to thank the University of Nebraska Medical Center, Medica, a brand new health insurance option in Nebraska, and of course, Black Hills Energy. Justin Kane, Scotts Bluff native, living in Oakland, and he's tearing it up tonight with a great set. You're starting out with a little Johnny Cash. Boy, you did Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash. Are you trying to go for the top spot among all Quarantine Tonight performers? I am trying. If I'm missing one, let me know. I'll if you worked polka in there somewhere with an accordion, you might get the top spot. I don't think this turns into an accordion. Well, if but you can do that, you can do a lot of other probably things. Probably throw too. a Waylon Dennings tune in there, too. We really need well, to. Well, then we're talking. All right, <laughs> let's do this. You're watching Justin Kane on Quarantine Tonight. Well, I really don't have anything special story with Johnny Cass other than just I love his voice, I love his music, and I like playing his songs. So here's a little Pulse in Prison for you. Well, I hear that train coming, it's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when, but I'm stuck in Pulse in Prison. Time keeps dragging on. But the train keeps a rolling on down to San Antonio. When I was just a baby, my mama told my son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blow,
Yes, fresh full seed from the fast sedanic cars. Robin drinking coffee, smoking big cigars. But I know I hit it coming. I know I can't be free. When I hear that whistle blowing, oh, that's what tortures me. Well, if they free me from this prison, if they will. Thank you very much. I got to appreciate the claps here because, you know, I can't hear all of you out there, but we've been hearing them out on the, the, uh, all the social media sites. Everybody's writing in and saying how much they appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone who tuning in. So make sure you check out News Channel Nebraska. All they have to offer every night of the week during the weekday, they have been having entertainment and some phenomenal artists as well. So keep following them, and, and also check me out on Facebook, Twitter as well. So Justin Kane, K-A-N-E. So we're going to keep it on with some country music. Now, I like this guy, and I grew up with my mom, who was a flower child, basically, from the western part of New York, and my dad, good old country boy from right here in Nebraska. So I grew up on, you know, CCR and Charlie Daniels and John Denver and Martin Gay and just a lot of different songs, but I really like John Denver, and I hope you like this one. It's called Country Roads, or Take Me Home, Country Roads. Take me home, down 
country roads. Take me home down country roads. All right. You know what it's like when you're out there and about running around and you just want to get home and you're just like, man, I hope these highways take me home. And speaking of highways, I want to give a big shout out to every truck driver out there that is still keeping our country running, putting in late hours, driving long times on long roads to make sure that we can keep our families fed. So this next song, a little Avery Rabbit tune, this one's going out to all of you who have ever driven a truck or are driving a truck now. This one's called Driving My Life Away. Well, midnight and I find it on a rainy night tea. So I'm not making no time. I gotta keep it rolling. Don't switch she wipe us. I've been out on tempo. Keep it perfect rhythm with the song on the radio. I gotta keep it rolling. Ooh, I'm driving my life away. Looking for a better way for me. Looking for a sunny day for me. Well, the truck stopped cute. that was coming on to me. Tried to talk me into a ride so I wouldn't be sorry. She was just a baby. Hey, waitress, pour me another cup of coffee. Pop it down, jam me up, shoot me out, fly down the highway. Looking for the morning. Thank you to all the truckers out there. So a lot of times in life, we're faced with things like we are right now with the coronavirus. And you know, in my life, being in the military, I got to see a lot of things that were great, and a lot of things not so great. And what has helped me through that, a lot of times, were just songs. And sometimes there's that one special song that really reaches down and grabs you, and this one by far is one of my favorite ones that whenever I get down, and I'm starting to feel like maybe God isn't looking down on me to help me out. And I listen to this song and I say, you know, he's always looking out for me. And I love this one because I can't wait until I see what it's going to be like. I mean, I can wait. I don't want to leave just yet. But when that day comes, I hope he's there with open arms. But I like this song. It's called I Can Only Imagine for Mercy Me. What it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. Hey. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dare for you, Jesus, or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I 
can only imagine I can only imagine When that day comes And I find myself Standing in the sun I can only imagine With all I will do Is forever Forever worship you I can only imagine you I can only imagine Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel When I dance for you, Jesus Or in all of you be still Will I stand in your presence Or to my knees will I fall He'll always be with you. I can only imagine. Thank you, God, for letting me be here today. So we're going to rock it up here a little bit with one of my original songs. You can also get out there online, and we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Or you can find it on my website as well. This one's just about one of those cool songs when the, that first new love comes into light, and you're just like, that intensity that builds. And for those of you in the room that are young and don't really know what that means yet, don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Just make it later rather than sooner. But as most of us have experienced this thing of love, know what that intensity is like. And you can't wait to know more about that person and get to be with that person more often and at one point become best friends with that person. And this song I really like, this one's called Match I Want a Light. And if you're at home and you feel like dancing, this is a good song to dance to. And I might not be able to see you, but I can hear you clapping out there. Did somebody download the song? Make it hang a little higher. Or is that DJ to play that favorite song? Hey, I don't know. And was that deep blue ocean out in front of me look wider? So much wider. Must be the girl next to me on the beach, turning everything in a goal. I got my sunglasses on, she's burning up my eyes. Those rays ricochet and I'll put a good start up. Sunset. Oh, the 
sunset. A girl that finds got the kind of shine that can blind anyone. Here she comes. I got my sunglasses on. She's burning up my eyes. Oh, she's like a shame and a fully good start. Justin Kane, uh, Panhandle Boy is what they call him. Uh, we have the station at uh, Sydney, Nebraska, KSID, and I just oh, checked their it. Facebook, and they were saying, hey, we got a Panhandle Boy finally on uh, <laughs> quarantine tonight. They take care of their own out there, don't they? Oh, they do, and KSID actually owns their uh, Colgate Showdown um, finalist for them several years ago, so oh. I know the KSID folks are really cool people down there as well. They got a nice, nice town. Uh, oh, yeah, I love Sydney. Sydney, Nebraska is a beautiful Cabela's town. has left that, but that's an old... That's uh, a new wound that we will keep praying that helps heal. Well, that town's going places. They've got a plan, and they're working it, and uh, they're proud of you because when I'm looking at all those web stats, I'm like, wow, the panhandle's lighting up for Justin hey, Kane tonight. Hey, panhandle. Love y'all. Yeah, born and raised in the Scotts Bluff Mitchell area out there and uh, served for nine years in the United States Navy. We appreciate your service and your you. – uh, something tells me you got really good at music sitting on a ship somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean or – <laughs> wherever well, you were. I was in the Persian Gulf for several months at a time, and I was pretty much through all the oceans because I was on the East Coast and did a trip through there, went through the Suez Canal and did that. And You see the world. Yep, but I'm a golden shellback, which means you cross the prime meridian and the equator at the same time. So I've done a lot of the traditional Navy things, which they don't do anymore because they consider it hazing. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> some of those stories we probably can't tell on no, the TV. No, I can't, yeah. probably not, no, but um, I am definitely honored to be a service member, but I'm more honored to have the friends that I have that are service members or have been in the service. Well, that set was kind of your country set, and when I look at the songs you've got coming up, it's, if you're not patriotic, it's if you're not standing, it's full, full, we should say the Pledge of Allegiance tonight. Uh, this is, this is a great show you're about to put on, a finale with, I think there's a little God Bless the USA to kind oh, of yeah, take it Oh yeah, and I hope everybody out there sings a song. I always do this whenever I do a patriotic show, and when Every you do it live, you see people holding hands next to strangers, and they got them up in the air, and they're waving them back and forth. So We have a lot more in that. common than anybody has in difference. Oh, yeah. It's the truth. Well, we appreciate you being with us. This is Quarantine Tonight. It's our nightly, weeknightly uh, variety show. And uh, tonight, of course, Justin Kane. He's living in Oakland. He grew up in Scotts Bluff, the Panhandle, and he's just knocking it out of the park tonight. He did the Brooke Berenger Nebraska song from Sawyer Brown, which I haven't heard that for a while. That was... That was a great thing. You've got a voice that just matches up perfectly. I bet when you're driving in your pickup uh, and a good song comes on, you're hard to contain because uh, oh, your arms are going. I didn't have to be in a pickup. I'll be in the Nards or some other store, and my wife yeah. is like, stop singing, stop singing. Oh, I bet, yeah, you're, a, uh, I bet you're a trip. Let's talk about this uh, lady, that your bride. She's at oh, Oakland right now. She's in Oakland right now with my stepdaughter, and um, we have been together for 12 years, married for a little over a year and a half. Um, She's my best friend, and, you know, everybody says, why didn't you marry her earlier? Well, that is a good question, it, it, Mr. 10 year that, you know, I'm sure I got a family was like, why didn't you, why didn't you do it? So, one, it seemed like I, life always got in the way. We had different things going on, yeah. and different financial things, stuff like that, and I wanted it to be perfect. And uh, 
It just never happened. Then my wife had braces done. She's like, I'm not going to get married until we're out of braces. Well, it took four years to get out of what? braces. <laughs> Do you think it's, she was going to the orthodontist saying, keep these things on? <laughs> no. Well, if you, if you were engaged in me or would with me, I wouldn't blame her, but no. Um, but I went down to Nashville to record my last four songs. Yeah. And Denise Butler, who's a wonderful lady with Lily Rose Publishing, and she is out there in North Carolina. And yeah. She stood behind me, and we were talking on the way home from one of the recording sessions, and we were talking about my lovely wife, Chris, uh, Christina, and um, she's like, it's like, I understand you want the proposal to be perfect, because I had this great idea. And, and at this point, you're that. going on 10 years. Yeah, at this point, yeah, we were at 10 years already, <laughs> and she's like, but life is too short yeah. to make perfect memories, because if you do that, you miss out yeah. on a lot of memories. It's something about when she said that just clicked with me. It was like, you know, you're absolutely right. I'm missing out on so many memories right now because I'm trying to make the one perfect memory. And when I got home, the first thing I did, I went out and found a ring. I took Snapchat to three different rings, sent it to my stepdaughter, and she called me, calls me up and says, like, are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> well, it's been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, she's like, about time. <laughs> so. so was she surprised when you proposed to her? Oh, my, my stepdaughter helped me out with this because we called, I called her when she was up in college and said, you know, I got an idea. I was like, but I need your help. I need you to ask your mom that we want to take family photos when you come back. And we had a good friend, Beth Erdman. She does all my Photoshop sure. for my albums. Um, from we from Western her. Nebraska? Yeah, Western Nebraska. She's a lot of Erdman's out there, so. yeah. And so she helped us out with this. And we got it all planned up on a little place by some trees and stuff. And we were taking pictures and everything else like that. And she was taking the mother-daughter pictures. And I just kind of came up from behind. And Poof. she just sat there, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's all she could say. I was like, I need an answer. <laughs> it's been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, so, so she... And then the rest is history. And well, that's so great. The, the only sad thing about that day was it was the same day my grandmother passed away. Oh. And my grandfather, who's 95 years old in New York, still carries on strong. And I was his best friend. And, you know, I, the relationship I saw with my grandpa and my grandma, that's the same relationship I feel with my wife, Christina. It's just oh. true friends. And she's watching you tonight. Oh, yeah. She says I'm doing a good job. And I'm telling her she's lying. She's just trying to be nice. Christina, you're the number one viewer tonight. <laughs> Raise your right hand. We're going to deputize you. So. <laughs> well, she's always number one to me. Yes. Well, she's number one uh, viewer tonight here at uh, News Channel Nebraska. Well, thank you so much. Justin Kane sharing a little bit more about his wife, Christina, and their story. And coming up here, we're going to have some great music to play. A uh, couple things to let you know. Tomorrow night, we've got a polka band. So get the kids ready. We're going to have a good time. Uh, they're coming from Wayne. And uh, it's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy this. I see a trumpet. I see a good accordion. It's going to be a good time. And then Friday, ladies and gentlemen, we have the smoke ring that are coming back. Uh, Jim Casey is going to be here. Bob Hupp, uh, Doug Spidell. There's a whole crew of them. Of course, we got a state of 10 in our special undisclosed location. But it will be a show. And you're going to want to watch. And I've already cleared out the broadcast schedule thinking that this is going to go past 10 o'clock. So if you are inclined on Friday night, we've got a great show. Next Monday night, the Corona Brothers return. Uh, they did a great job. Corey Delp from Columbus, Dave Amick, uh, he's coming in. I mean, these guys put on a great show before. More country, more Waylon, more Merle. Uh, they're going to they're gonna be here Monday night. So just kind of a little look at the couple days ahead. Next week, the Prodigal Sons are back from Ponca, who they were a big hit as well. Stay with us. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. This is Quarantine Tonight. We'll be back after these messages. It's for you. Welcome back to News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. Uh, my youngest, Blake, got his finger, his trigger finger on the fog again. So you're about, Justin, you're about to experience the fog. Uh, which is a compliment uh, because the fog, I think, adds a lot to the show when you start seeing all the different. Well, it's uh, like this fog from the early morning rise. Like I know. On the battlefield, I guess. <laughs> the first time I was sitting over there by uh, Chad Barnhill and they, where he was working the sound, uh, Blake couldn't get his little finger off the fog. And I, was, <laughs> I just wanted to reach across the camera and just grab him by the back of the neck. But like, knock that off. turned out that it looked pretty cool. Uh, he's got a he's got a little gift on when to do it. So, oh, all right. So we are going to do this up with some patriotic music, ladies and gentlemen. This is Justin Kane. He lives in Oakland, from Scotts Bluff. Grew up in Scotts Bluff. He's got a little radio in his background. Nine years in the United States Navy, and tonight you're going to take us home with some patriotic music. Oh yeah, this is time to feel good about where we live at with Old Glory.
All right. Little red, white, and blue. So check him out on Facebook, Justin Kane. It's spelled K-A-N-E. Or he's got a website. JustinKane.us, which has flashed yeah. up there a few times. Yeah, we've flashed it up there a few times. You can see some of his performance stuff on there. If yep. somebody wants to buy some of your originals or they want to get a CD or stuff like that, go to your website, go to Facebook. It's it's, right. uh, there's links on my website, JustinKane.us. It's got links to everything, music videos, all the songs and music and stuff like that. You can see where the lyrics are, past stories, pictures of places I play. And my my debut video release of Cowgirl Crazy is on there too. And you talk about a high energy song. If you watch the video, it is just nothing but high energy. So I uh, that's hard for you me to imagine. You know, just watching you bounce around up there, I know that it's oh, probably true. No, I have true. no energy at all. <laughs> I know. Hey, we appreciate you sharing your talents with all of us. We thank your wife for sharing you with us tonight, and uh, let's get this done. Justin Kane on News Channel Nebraska. Well, it is truly an honor to be here, and I want to thank Chad Barnell over there for helping us out with the sound and all the other crew out there and the boys of Mike. I can't remember all the names again, but he's already said their names several times tonight. But I am truly blessed and honored to be a part of this show. And I'm even more blessed um, to hear all the comments that are coming in from literally all over the country. So everybody out there listening and stuff and watching, thank you so much. It's you why we like to do this music. And this is the reason why we're trying to do this is to help brighten your days up with COVID-19 and help maybe let you escape what is going on. Now, this next song. Several years ago, it, it doesn't seem that long now, but it has been actually a few years now, um, there was a football player who decided to start taking a knee during the national anthem. Now, I agree with that he has a right to do what he wants to do, and he had a stance to do it, but I didn't like how he was doing it, so I got pretty angry. So I rat, wrote down this whole entire thing, and I remembered at this time the conversations I would have with my grandparents and with my folks, and realized, that, you know what, he might be angry, but he probably didn't have the teachers that I did. I remember my grandpa talking to me about his time in the service and what it meant. And my grandparents in New York, severely Democratic. My family here in Nebraska are Republican. And there's both sides to it all. But they all had this common purpose that our red, white, and blue has a special meaning to us all. There's a symbol for that, not political hatred, not anything else like that, but there's a symbol. And everybody's getting angry at what is going on with what happens to the flag. But if you know if we just stopped for a second and helped each other out, that'd go a lot further. There's a second part in this song that I want to dedicate to every single one of you nurses out there and doctors that are helping the fight COVID-19 and all the firefighters, police officers are putting their lives in harm way every day to help those who are infected by this disease. But I hope you like this song. It was written by myself Wynn Adams and Eric Durant. This one's called Our Flag is for the Fallen. Well, I pointed to that flag, I up there on the mantle. I list to my picture of my grandpa in those medals. They gave him when he came back. Fighting that war overseas. He said, come on over here now, let me tell you a story about those who fought with honor for this flag we call our glory. I can see the pride in his eyes and said these words to me. Our flag stands for freedom, courage, faith, and hope. One nation under God, another soldier coming home. Our flag stands for freedom, courage, faith, and hope. One nation of a God, another soldier coming home. See heaven's hold of heroes, this freedom don't come free. There's those who run out, who run in. In that cross on the hill, we understand. Every 
time you see those colors lying in the wind, remember go and get it all so we can live again. Our flag stands for freedom, courage, faith, and hope. One nation under God, another soldier coming home. See heaven's born of heroes, cause freedom don't come free. I'm proud of where we are, where we've been. Cause every time they sing that anthem again, you can take a knee for me. Thank you very much, folks. That one's called Our Flag is for the Fallen, and that goes to everybody out there who is a service member, who was a service member, veteran, or and all to our EMTs, paramedics, firefighters, and everybody else there that has that American spirit. This next song I heard is uh, from a writer from Canada and another one from Texas, and the names are escaping me right now, and I do apologize for that, but I heard this song. And my manager was like, I think that's a perfect song for you. Because my message is to help those who are suffering from mental illness, PTSD. Because it does exist. And though I may not have seen what a lot of people I know out there have seen, I've seen enough that affected me. And I was drinking a lot. And if it wasn't for the help of a chaplain I went to, I probably wouldn't be here today. And I didn't go see that chaplain. And the only reason why I did was because a shipmate helped me out. And we all need that guiding light and that hope, that torch to kind of help carry people forward. Now, there's, uh, I can't remember the crisis helpline now for those who are battling PTSD, but they do have crisis helplines for su suicide and mental awareness, and I hope you guys out there will help. The problem is, is that a lot of people don't know what to do to help. They can help you out, figure out how to help somebody else. But if you see someone, or if you were yourself, my biggest problem is I thought, I can handle it, I can take it. It wasn't until after I started talking to a chaplain that I realized that I did need help. And I hope that you guys see a six foot three military veteran guy talking openly about what he has went through, that every one of you will go out there and seek the help you so rightly deserve. It's not a bad thing to ask for help, it's a good thing. Because we lose way too many people to suicide and, pet and PTSD. So if you know somebody or if you yourself are out there struggling, please go out there and maybe play this song for them because this is a kind of an anthem for those who suffer. This one's called, They Said He Wasn't Hurt. He closed his eyes, held on tight. Those bombs went on behind enemy lines. He lost a lot of prayers at night, but he made it through his final fight. He sent him home a hero, cause he fought and never once gave up. Defending the country that he loved. He said he He's got no battle scars, but he's forever changed. He's got a silver star, and the things for his hard work, they call it a miracle. They said he wasn't hurt. He still wakes up.
his mama wore his own. He said he wasn't hurt. He'll never be the same. He's got no battle scars, but he's forever changed. He's got a silver star and a thanks for his hard work. They come. He's forever changed. He's got a silver star and a thanks for his hard work. They call it a miracle. They call it a miracle. Said he wasn't hurt. If you know anybody out there that's struggling and fighting with PTSD, please ignore their wanting not to deal with you or not wanting to deal with it. Be a true friend. Be someone that truly loves them and help them get the help that they so rightly deserve. Now, in this song, I love to do, we get a lot of people involved in when we sing this song. And I'm actually going to hold it off for a little bit because since it looks like we have a little bit of time. So I mentioned something earlier about playing a little old country song. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then we're going to end it up with a good old patriotic tune. So we've covered Merle. we covered Johnny. What do you all say about a little Waylon? This one's called The Rules. She was a flower for the taking, a beauty cut just like a knife. He was a banger for me, so we love her all his life. Bought a mountain on a mountain, for a garden in a lot of land. See the fire in his eyes. He said, I will walk through hell on Sunday. Be my rules in paradise. I heard a man attend the garden. Even I on her while he was gone. Some say the rain. See that garner lived alone. Now the banker, he's an old man. The mansion's crumbling down. It all day stares at the garden. Not a bee that there they'll never found. Every time you talk about her. You can see the fire in his eyes. He said, I will walk through hell on Sunday. He rolls in paradise. And there's a mower on the mountain. Oh, God, in a lot of lane. A little wailing for you guys. So I hope I didn't let all you country folks down tonight.
I know you all heard country artists like, oh, we're here real country, because, you know, a lot of the country stuff out there today is not quite like what we grew up with, but, you know, still got a good catchy tune. This is where that song is, where we were talking about it earlier off camera. Um, whenever I do this live for our patriotic shows, it's amazing to me just how many people will stand up hand in hand and rock back and forth. Everyone you see in front of you will do it. doesn't matter who they are, who they're next to. Strangers just grabbing hands, swaying back and forth, showing their love for our country. So here's a classic, definitely a classic Lee Greenwood song. And if you're out there, no matter where you are out in the country, in the world, but I hope you sing this song with me. This one's called God Bless the USA. <laughs> Tomorrow all the things are gone I work for my life And I had to start again With just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And it's time we stand and say the sand hills of Nebraska, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, from New York to L.A., where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Justin Kane, the old tongue gallon lungs that just took you just right through there, right didn't you? There. You did it. You did it. That sounded great. And what a great way to wind down the night. I was just thinking about some of our viewers. They just love the patriotic music, and you knocked it out of the park. So good job on that. I appreciate everybody that tunes into your show and tuning in tonight. It really means a lot to me. I tell you what, I could jabber for four minutes, but I got one idea for you. There's, What's that? There's a lot of 4-H kids out there that are kind of trying to figure out the summer, and one of my favorite songs is Chris Ledoux, County Fair. Ah. What if I just got you to do that, and then we went right up to 10 o'clock? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Justin Kane. He's just doing a great job. Can you do that song? I was, I, I, know, I do. I haven't played it for a little while, so if I mess up too much, then oh, there's everybody no way that you loves can... Chris Ledoux. Oh, there's a lot of people that like Chris Ledoux. Tiggs, he's probably watching because he is a Chris Ledoux fanatic. So if I mess up, I know I'm going to hear about it from him. You but won't do, you'll do just fine. I was you'll a 4 h myself, so, you know, County Fair is 
it was something you just kind of becomes a part of you. So I was locked and loaded on last place in photography. So <laughs> and model rockets. Oh, nice. All right, let's do this. We just need John to give me a little. There we go. I don't think he was paying attention to what you're saying. He's back there yawning on me earlier. He never does. No, I really appreciate everything that John's doing over there. So it's a little Chris Adu called County Fair. You're great. Justin Kane from Scott's Bluff, living in Oakland, doing a great job tonight on News Channel Nebraska. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you for having me. Check him out on Facebook, Justin Kane, K-A-N-E. It's time now for news. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> 